Yakimoto san o oshiete kure! This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime of fall 2020. Koroso. <laughs> For this list, we'll be checking out the best new anime to come out this season. Let's be honest though, this was a huge step up from last time, but be sure to let us know how we're wrong in the comments. And as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know what your favourite anime of the season was. Number 10, Wandering Witch, The Journey of Elena. With some of the most gorgeous visuals you are likely to see all year, the adventures of this wandering witch is well worth a watch for those of you hearkening back to the days of Kino's journey. <laughs> After finally graduating as a full-blown witch, the somewhat prideful Elena takes to the skies, observing the various phenomena that occupy her world and interacting with its citizens. <laughs> Granted, while she chooses to use her magic to help when possible, Elena is still only an observer, and through her do we see both the beauty and horror lurking around every bend. Number 9. Yashahime, Princess Half Demon. We're still trying to get over that we live in a day and age where Inuyasha has an actual sequel. <laughs> Focusing on the daughters of Seshomaru, one raised by humans, while the other follows in her father's footsteps, so far this series has damn well nearly overloaded us with its well-woven nostalgia. <laughs> Toa and Setsuna are wholly endearing despite being diametrically opposed, and the general feel of it all is just so gloriously retro that it's no wonder fans are losing their minds over it. <laughs> Number 8, Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Dai. It may appear somewhat simplistic and heavily reliant on tropes that anyone who's even casually glanced at a Dragon Quest game can pick up on it, but this is still one we can't help but recommend for just how charming it is. The retro look is a welcome stylistic choice, and while a tad on the slow side, Dai shows great promise as a hero. Both the world and battles are filled with vibrancy, making a nice change from the dreary and depressing action thrillers as of late. Hopefully, this one continues to surprise and surpass expectations. Number 7. Higurashi When They Cry, Go! Was it strange that they made everyone believe that this was a pure remake instead of something new entirely? Yes, but here's the thing, it's also really good. <gasps> the updated look has upped the creep factor immensely, and quite frankly seeing Rena and her psychosis with such fresh animation has served as a painful reminder as to why we were so scared of her. As the mystery only continues to deepen, we're sure there are plenty of gruesome outcomes just waiting on the horizon for us to indulge in. We'll just lock our doors first. Number 6. Tonikawa, Over the Moon for You First things first, that opening song slaps. Second of all, we didn't expect to encounter a romantic comedy with enough wit to combat Kaguya-sama. <laughs> but lo and behold, here we are. 
After saving him from Truck-kun, the mysterious Tsukasa agrees to go out with the unfortunately named Nasa, just so long as he agrees to marry her. Dude says yes without a second thought, and thus begins their life as teenage newlyweds, and all the blisteringly awkward yet adorable moments that come with it. Keep your eyes on this one, it's a real treat. <laughs> Number 5. The Irregular at Magic High School Visitor Arc While it still has way too many SisterCon moments for us to be comfortable with, this long-awaited sequel season has burst onto the scene like a lion. <laughs> Sure, it has Tatsuya negating everyone that comes his way without his facial expression changing once. But what's really kicked things up a notch is the introduction of the vampires. They may not be classic bloodsuckers, but they're a constant threat that has really upped the stakes along with the arrival of American badass Lena, whose hunt for the psychic killers keeps bringing her and Tatsuya together. <laughs> Number 4. Burn the Witch Yeah, it was technically a movie split into multiple episodes, but it was still one of the best things we saw all season. It is back. Due to its limited runtime, there was only so much that we could glean from what Kubo's fancy outing had to offer, but what we saw was amazing. <laughs> Noelle and Nini are amazing characters, Reverse London is a fascinating setting, and each new bit of lore introduced made us eager to explore this world further. Someone get Kubo to make a full series out of this ASAP. Number 3, Haikyuu to the Top Season 2 Now we're back on form. Ignoring that whole outsourcing debacle, the continuation of the fourth overall season has been great. <laughs> and why? Because Karasuno are back to doing what they do best and playing the bloody game. Each is showing their growth thanks to their respective training camps, the tension of the match is on point, we've even gotten a few sweet moments from the side characters as they show support while crows continue to fly higher. At this rate, the national tournament might even outshine the finals against Shiratori Tower. Number 2, Golden Kamui Season 3 So this is what Sugimoto looks like in his prime. Bulldozing over the faults of its earlier seasons, this latest brutal seinen treasure hunt has really picked up the pace. With a super kidnapped, Sugimoto and the rest are forced to brave both the blizzards and the lethal Russian squadron known as the Stenka on the way to rescue her. Fans of the manga are sure to have a great time with such a faithful adaptation, and hey, they even solved the bear problem from last time by nailing their encounter with the Wolverine. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon season 3? Yet even more competition for Hestia when it comes to winning Belle's heart. <laughs> Mr. Osumatsu Season 3, upping the cringe factor for the third time. <laughs> Akudama Drive, how much can you fit into an action scene? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. 
Number 1. Jujutsu Kaisen It's eerie, it's intriguing, it's made by MAPPA, and could possibly be the start of another powerhouse series set to shake up the shonen status quo. In order to save his friends from a curse, Yuji ingests the finger of the infamous demon Sakuna, becoming a vessel for his ungodly power. From there, he swept up into the ranks of Jujutsu Tech, an organization that seeks to eradicate curses while also hunting after Sakuna's remains. If you like your modern fantasies extra dark and full of hype, this is one to get addicted to. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.